Hi all, welcome to my channel on basic mathematics and in this tutorial we are going to look at matrix, matrix multiplication and we will look at uh, two different matrix multiplication one is a linear multiplication that is we are going to multiply the matrix the constant and then the next one is the matrix multiplication where we are going to multiply two matrices together so first of all we will look at the linear multiplication in this we are going to multiply the matrix with a constant so what we do here is we will multiply each term of the matrix with this constant now if you look at this is the one one location we multiply that location with this constant k into a and this is the one two location multiply with the constant so likewise we multiply each and every element one by one and then you will get the answer like this it's a into k that is a k k into b b k likewise we can get the answer now we will look at an example when you look at this example i have this matrix minus one minus one two one four and three minus five and we are going to multiply this one with the constant 3. When you do this multiplication, 3 into minus 1 you will get and that will be minus 3. And 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 1 is 3 again. 3 into 4 is 12. And 3 into 3 is 9. And 3 into minus 5 will give you minus 15. So this is a very simple uh, phenomenon. That means we are only multiplying the elements of the matrix by the constant that you are having and you will get the resultant matrix next we will look at the matrix multiplication that means we are going to take two matrices and we are going to multiply them together so in this case we have to keep in mind two very important facts the first fact is we cannot multiply all the matrices together in order to multiply there is a certain criteria that you have to satisfy and it is given here and this condition is the column number of the first matrix has to equal to the row number of the second matrix if this condition is not satisfied then you cannot multiply the matrices and if this condition is satisfied then you can multiply the matrices and the resultant matrix will have this condition that is uh, the dimension of the resultant matrix is going to be the row number of the first matrix into the column number of the second matrix so you can see that we cannot multiply all the matrices we can only multiply a certain uh, set of matrices which will satisfy this condition and once you multiply those the resultant will be having these dimensions now we will look at an analytical example like this okay now we have two matrices that is uh, this m matrix which is having a 2 by 3 dimension and the n matrix which is having a 3 by 2 dimensions so first of all we have to see whether we can multiply these two matrices so as i told you earlier the column number of the first matrix that is 3 and the row number of the second matrix that is 3 they are equal to each other therefore we can multiply these two matrices if i multiply these two matrices then the resultant matrix is going to be uh, the row number of the first matrix and the column number of the second matrix so the resultant is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix right now you know whether you can multiply these two matrices and the dimensions of the resultant matrix now i will actually tell you actually how to do the multiplication so what we are going to do here is we take each and every row of the first matrix and multiply that with each and every column of the second matrix so first we will proceed like this we take the first row of the first matrix and multiply that with the first row of the first matrix to get the one one element and uh, uh, we, we take the first row again and we multiply with the second column of the second matrix to multi to get the uh, one two term so we take this m11 and multiply that with n11 you will get it here you take this m12 multiply that with n21 you get the answer here you take m13 and multiply that with n31 you get the answer here so in this way you take the one one element of the resultant matrix by multiplying the first row of the first matrix with the first column of the second matrix that's the one one term then we can proceed and multiply the first row of the first matrix with the second column of the second matrix to get the one two element so here you can see that m11 multiplied with n12 m12 multiplied with n22 and m13 multiplied by n32 and we add all these values so that is the one two element of the resultant matrix similarly if you want to get the two one element we take the second row of the first matrix and multiply that with the first column of the second matrix m21 n11 then n22 n21 and here 
and m23 will be n31 and finally we take the first row no, not the first row the second row and multiply with the second column to get the 2 2 element of the resultant matrix m21 with n12 and m22 with n22 and m23 with n32 in this way you can do the matrix multiplication so now you know how to for how, with, whether to check uh, two matrices can be multiplied if they can be multiplied you know the dimensions of the resultant and you know actually how to do the multiplication now it's time to do some uh, numerical values so then uh, we will proceed and do the first example we have this matrix 2 minus 1 3 1 3 minus 4 multiplied with 3 2 3 minus 2 1 4 and minus 1 5 so the first thing the row number no the, uh, the column number of the first matrix that is 3 and the row number of the second matrix that is also 3 so we can multiply so as you can see these can be multiplied the dimensions are going to be 2 and 2 okay now we know the dimensions we do the actual multiplication 2 into 3 we have it here minus 1 into 1 we have it here and 3 into minus 1 we have it here and then that is the 1 1 element of the resultant matrix now you take the first row and the second column 2 into minus 2 you get it here minus 1 into 4 you get it here 3 into 5 you get it here that will be the first row of the resultant matrix 1 1 and 2 elements and to get the second row we take the second row of the first matrix and first column of the second matrix 1 into 3 you have it here 3 into 1 you have it here minus 4 into minus 1 you have it here and then finally we have the second row and the second column 1 into minus 2 you have it here 3 into 4 and minus 4 into 5 and you do the simplification and you will get this answer and finally you will get the final multiplied answer to be 2 7 10 and minus 10 so this is how you can multiply two matrices and get the answer now we will look at the second example in the second example we are going to multiply two three by three matrices again we have to check the condition the column number of the first matrix the column number of the second uh, row number of the second matrix they are equal to each other therefore you can multiply and then the resultant is going to be again a three by three matrix as the row number of the first matrix is three and the column number of the second matrix is also three we'll get a three by three matrix and you do the multiplication as usual so you can see that two into one and minus one into minus three 3 into 2 likewise you do all these multiplications for the all nine terms and then you simplify it like this and this is going to be the final answer of the multiplied matrix actually if you have any uh, doubts about how this multiplication is done you can actually pause the video at this point and see how these exact values are calculated so i will let you do it if required and we will look at the third example in this case we are going to look at a 3 by 1 matrix multiplied with a 1 by 3 matrix now the if you look at the uh, the condition here that is the row number the column number of the first matrix and the row number of the second matrix that is 1 so then you can multiply so once you multiply you can see that the dimensions of the resultant is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix it's like that so then you can see how it is happening 1 into 2 and 1 into minus 1 1 into 5 3 into 2 3 into minus 1 and 3 into 5 and 4 into 2 4 into minus 1 and 4 into 5 so it might not look that uh, you will be getting a 3 by 3 matrix but again the simple condition is you have to see what is the column number of the sec first sec first matrix and the row number of the uh, second matrix if they are equal you can definitely multiply no questions asked and once you once you can do it you can look at the row number of the first matrix and the column number of the second matrix and that is going to be the resultant matrix and in this case once you multiply you will get this as the final answer and in the example 4 we will take the same matrices but we will interchange and we will try to multiply it like this now again we have a 2 minus 1 5 that's a 1 by 3 matrix and 1 3 4 that is 3 by 1 matrix and these are the same two matrices but we have interchanged them so we will check the condition the column number of the first matrix the row number of the second matrix that is equal to 3 therefore you can multiply and then the row number of the first matrix is 1 and the column number of the second matrix is also 1 therefore you can see that once you multiply the resultant matrix is going to be a 1 by 1 matrix just a single term you do the multiplication 2 into 1 you get it here minus 1 into 3 
uh, get it here 5 into 4 you get it here and then you can see that it's a one by one matrix and then finally you will get the answer to be 19 and that is the uh, that's the multiplication of this one so from this there is important characteristics that you are getting here that is the matrix multiplication is not commutative that means if i take uh, two matrices and if i multiply and that will be necessarily equal to the multiplication if i interchange them that is a b multiplication does not equal b a so this is a very important characteristic you have to remember regarding matrices that is matrix multiplication is not commutative